But we begin here at 6 with new information coming to light in a murder case that's made national headlines. Yeah, Susie Zhao was found dead last month at the Pontiac Lake Recreation Center. 60-year-old Jeffrey Morris was arrested and today formally charged with her murder. Defender Sean Lay live in Pontiac with what we've learned about Morris's criminal history and what happened before the murder, Sean. And that's one of the key questions. How does a professional poker player who was living in L.A. know a man who was staying temporarily here on this street in Pontiac? Our source is telling us tonight the two met up at a motel the night before the murder. Hours later, Susie Zhao's body was found burned in a nearby park. Calling people versus Jeffrey Bernard Morris. Jeffrey Bernard Morris, a 60-year-old from Pontiac, arraigned late today. As you can see, Morris is in the hospital after having a medical issue earlier in the day. The charge he is facing, the premeditated murder of Susie Zhao. The details, horrifying. July 13th, the 33-year-old's body was found burned at the Pontiac Lake Recreation Center. In court, we learn Morris has a long history of violent crime. The court is satisfied that there should not be a bond in this matter. The court is going to deny bond. Here's what we know. Once Zhao's remains were identified, the mystery deepened. Zhao was a professional poker player living in L.A. Investigators had to consider if that had anything to do with her murder. Tonight, sources telling the defenders poker like was not a factor. We are told when life got difficult for Zhao, it was common for her to come home to her mother's home in the Waterford area. The night before her remains were found, sources tell us Zhao met Jeffrey Morris at an area motel. It's believed Zhao's cell records put Morris on investigators' radar. White Lake Township Police and an FBI task force tracked Morris and arrested him last Friday. A husband and wife in Pontiac felt bad for Morris and took him in, but says he was violent, so they kicked him out. That's Sick man, sick individual to do something like that to a poor innocent pe person like that. That's really sick. I had nightmares last night. I'm just scared to death that they were going to let him out. I I'm just glad he's off the streets. Thank you. Back here live, that couple wants to make it clear they had nothing to do with this guy. They took him in for a bit and then kicked him out when they say he got violent. Guys, here's what we learned about Morris. On probation right now for retail fraud, recent convictions for larceny, destruction of a building, domestic violence, failure to comply with sex offender reporting duties. Let's go all the way back to 1988, a charge of criminal sexual conduct, a drug conviction in 1980, assault with intent to rob while armed. He currently has a warrant out for his arrest for a DUI in Florida. Held tonight without bond, exact motive still being worked on, I am told. Police will brief us officially on this tomorrow morning. Back to you. That is a thick file. All right, Sean.